Antimicrobial stewardship is one of the core strategies to combat AMR. It is defined as a coherent set of actions that promotes the responsible use of antimicrobials. There already are guidelines for the prudent use of antimicrobials in both human and animal health. However, the focus and the level of implementation of antimicrobial stewardship actions varies a lot across the European countries. EU JAMRAI has worked to identify the concrete tools to guide countries to be more effective in their stewardship efforts for human health and animal health. EU JAMRAI identified a lack of efficient and easily accessible tools to facilitate the implementation of antimicrobial stewardship at both country and healthcare level. After setting up a survey to identify antibiotic stewardship programmes in Europe, EU JAMRAI revised the available materials and structured them by level of care, hospital care, long-term care facilities and primary care. The result is a repository with existing guidelines, tools and implementation methods for antibiotic stewardship in human health. This repository has been well received and already used, among others, by the ARCH network. EU JAMRAI also organised a workshop with experts from 22 European countries who discussed the barriers and enablers of good stewardship programmes in their own countries. The results showed us that hospitals currently have far more actions in place than community settings. And while there has been a lot of recent action for family doctors, experience with long-term care facilities especially is lagging behind. There are success factors and problems specific, of course, to each country. But our workshop also helped us to identify that there is a lot of common ground and that countries can benefit from the findings of other member states. Building up on the results from the workshop, EU JAMRAI has conducted a qualitative study in seven different European countries to assess attitude towards core elements of antimicrobial stewardship at different levels of care, national, hospital, long-term care facilities and primary care. Our objective with this qualitative evaluation was exploring more deeply the experiences of implementation by professionals at different levels of care to find barriers and success stories. We focused on identifying themes that can be vital for better implementation of antimicrobial stewardship programs, and we are glad to see that the results are already being used to inform the content and action points of upcoming national action plans. In order to assess the level of implementation and acceptance of stewardship programs in animal health, EU JAMRAI developed a survey that was disseminated through partners and stakeholders. The aim of this activity was to identify the core components needed for implementation of antimicrobial stewardship in animal health and then provide this information to member states to support them in the design of their own stewardship programmes. The core components needed for optimal implementation of antimicrobial stewardship in animals is broader than in humans due to the variety of production systems in animal species. When developing a stewardship programme, it's important to define objectives, identify all actors that need to be involved, and periodically assess the progress to review the strategy when needed. The results of the questionnaire are already being used to propose a stewardship programme suitable for adaptation to different contexts and countries. Structured around different strategic and specific actions, it can be used in both companion and production animals. Now, we encourage member states to continue involving the key stakeholders in animal health in order to publish a white book on the implementation of antimicrobial stewardship in animal health. We need further consensus in the definition of a common structure, the description of the core elements, the roles of the each core professional, and the indicator to assess the problem. The work of EU JAMRAI to increase antibiotic prudent use should be sustained because it can be helpful in reviewing national efforts and improving knowledge. The qualitative study, for example, can contribute to its valuable information about the most appropriate core elements of antimicrobial stewardship programs and the most significant enablers and barriers for successful implementation. Despite European Union plan and guidelines, EU member states do not reach the same level of achievement on antibiotic responsible use. 
to overcome this barrier, the EU should prioritize further efforts on antimicrobial stewardship by developing European core elements for antibiotic stewardship programs for both human and animal health. We need to create the minimum framework to be used by all member states and increase antibiotic prudent use across Europe.